So, what are we making today, guys? Do you know? No. <laughs> today, we are making a hot oil treatment for your hair. So, we're using one of our favorite, favorite, favorite oils to use around here, which is coconut oil. Ah, heaven in a bottle. Um, this is great for all hair types. I can hold up. I can hold up this. You can hold up that. Well, that is our next ingredient. Our next ingredient is honey. So that's also just going to help um, smooth the hair shaft, make your hair nice and silky and shiny. And um, also with the coconut oil, that helps to eliminate frizz. It um, seals the hair shaft as well. You can add all different kinds of essential oil to your hot oil treatment. We're using peppermint. Peppermint is very stimulating. The kids love the scent. Um, it's a little bit tingly, which is fun, and also it's great for dry hair. Well, let's get started. It's really simple. Okay. Mommy, watch. <laughs> what was that? Like okay. We are going to scoop out a quarter cup of coconut oil. Plop that right in there. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Smells like coconut. Yep. Still that smell. <laughs> now, I love the smell of coconut. Clearly, my kids maybe have a little different opinion on it. Also, honey, we're just going to squirt it in there. Ooh. And now you can heat this in a hot water bath or put it in the microwave for a few seconds. We have our hot oil. Essentially, that is very much what it is. I, now you can apply it right from this by drizzling on your hair, all different things. I definitely love using these squirt bottles, which um, we've used for maple syrup before, ketchup, mustard, that type of things. Now let's do our oil. We're just going to add a few drops. Let's see, that's what five. A few drops of our pepper. Smells very good. It smells minty, minty fresh. All right. Minty well, fresh hair. I definitely don't mind the smell of it. All right, so here we go. We've got our first treatment. Who's first? I All right, so you just do a little rose of the oil right into the scalp, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna massage it in and then work it all the way out to the ends. Um, well, we're gonna do some more, but we're just gonna start by a nice little scalp massage. So when you're doing this on yourself, it's super easy to do too. Now, for her, I've got a shower cap. If you don't have a shower cap, that's okay. It's like for Brayden, we don't. We're gonna use a plastic bag. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start along the scalp. We'll do a few rows of the oil. <laughs> it's a hot oil treatment, yeah. And massage. Don't you like massages? Do you love getting massages? <laughs> Clearly, this is something that we don't do unsupervised. Or leave our kids unsupervised with. But once you get it on there nice and tight, you can just tie it up. At least it's not on the whole face. Well, of course. Yeah, we want to put it on the face. Okay, so we've washed our hair and conditioned it. And um, make sure, especially because ours had peppermint oil in it, we <laughs> made sure they kept their eyes closed the entire time. And I washed it for them. Um, just you don't want to get it in that in your eyes. But it's great. So the next time you need a hot oil treatment, you don't have to go anywhere. Don't go any further than your kitchen cabinet. So, thanks for joining us on this episode of Kitchen Wise. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. Uh, hold on. Soft, nitty thing. Uh, 